Hey guys, good morning. I just got back from the gym and showered. It's just a little bit after uh, 8 a.m. right now. I have about 15 to 20 minutes until I need to actually go to work. My three-day weekend is over, unfortunately, but I am looking forward to going back because I have a lot of stuff to do, and taking that day off just kind of does kind of build up the stuff I have to do when I get when I get back to work, uh, which is unfortunate, but an, an unfortunate side effect. But I am about to film a booktube video right now. Last night I filmed a few reviews and they went well. Those went well. And then I started trying to film a weekly wrap-up and a currently reading video. Uh, you know, the first time I've tried to combine the two together to see how it goes and it did not go well at all. I hated it. It was just going so poorly and the sun was going down and it was looking awful and feeling awful and it took me like forever to get my thoughts out and I was just all jumbled and not feeling good. And at the end of it, I was just so frustrated. I was just like, it's one of, one of those points that I, I run into very often, actually. Where I'm just like, what's the purpose of doing all this? Like, I'm putting all this work into it, and, I mean, what am I getting out of it? And that's like me in my really down moments, uh, one of really frustrated moments where things just aren't going right, and I'm looking at all the negatives of things. Yeah, I just, I, I was kind of feeling down about myself yesterday after finishing the video and uh, just feeling very frustrated with things and uh, just decided to step away from it and uh, kind of try to get myself over it and come back to it maybe later, maybe t this morning instead. So I just kind of, I went and like laid down and started watching a little bit of YouTube videos and fell asleep for many hours and then woke up like a little bit after midnight I think and uh, Giselle, that's when Giselle, I started working on stuff, that's when Giselle came in, she like, she went to bed, and I just decided to stay up all night, because I wasn't tired anymore, and uh, last night I edited, I edited what, I edited like, nine vlogs, yeah, I think I edited nine vlogs last night, so that's progress, that's good, catching up, and we'll see how I feel when I get back from work today, I feel good right now, because I just went to the gym, and I'm super energetic, and uh, I'm about to film a book two video, this one that I tried to film yesterday that didn't go well, Hopefully it goes well right now. We'll see. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to not do it, because <laughs> whatever. I'll try again this weekend. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get this video filmed and go to work. Several hours later, and I'm home now. And I got a package from Hachette, which means that it's Orbit. I think I did request a few more things from Orbit, but I don't remember what they are now. <laughs> uh, I will remember when I open it, I'm sure. But... I don't know what this is at all. They like put it in the middle of the package. I mean, don't want to rip it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I know what this is. Okay, I remember. I remember. This is Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty. So this is a science fiction book. And I just, I pretty much requested any science fiction that I could find that's going to be released next year. So this is one of them. It's a pretty cool cover. Uh, let's see, it says on the back, a lone ship, a murdered crew, and a clone who must find her own killer before they strike again. In the depths of space, it's pretty normal to wake up in a cloning vat. The streaks of blood, however, are not so normal. Maria Arena has been cloned before. Usually when she awakens as a new clone, her first memory is ha of how she died. This time she has no idea. Her memories are incomplete, and Maria isn't the only one to have died recently. So... Sounds pretty cool. I don't remember when this is coming out, but I believe it's right at the end of January, if I recall correctly. Uh, they usually send things out about, from what I've noticed from Orbit, they tend to send things out like a month before they actually come out. And uh, so this one will be about at the end of January. And I have a couple more books coming from them probably soon. I think for like February and, and March. So yeah, this really does sound cool. I'm really excited to read it. More science fiction. I guess. You guys, I'm doing something that's really, really, really gonna surprise you. It's even surprising myself because it's so uncommon. <laughs> it's a very rare occurrence. I'm editing one of my own videos. How strange. So this is my Alice video. And yeah, I've just been editing it down and I'm enjoying how it's working out so far. I found a song that I actually really like that goes along with it really, really well. The only problem is, I don't know if, I think it's one of those sites where you have to like buy the copyright for it, but I think Chris 
Hat is already signed up for one of those sites, so I might be able to get the copyright for it. Otherwise, I have a couple backup songs that I like from YouTube. Plus, I might look at the site that he uses possibly sometimes, or I'll find something. Anyway, I have a couple songs that I'm interested in, and I just think it's going well. I have it down to the like base bit of it, of me actually setting it up. I have it down to two and a half minutes. And then there's also the additional footage where I like scan over everything at the end and that I'm not going to like edit at all. I may even make Chris like refilm that bit since he's better at that than I am. I'm not a, uh, what would you say, a filmist? I don't know. I don't film videos. I don't take pictures. I'm not artistic like that at all. Like I even had Chris come in and help set up the shot to get me the best shot possible on it and like everything. I may have Chris do that again to just like make it better because like it's okay as it is but like it could be better I think I'm not gonna have him watch it too with the music and see which can be whittled down more if there's little sections I should take out or if I should like speed it up even more it's at like 500 right now I think or 400 I've never sped anything up in my whole life though never ever once sped anything up in a video I was editing so I have no idea what's acceptable as fast enough so I think I, I want to put it all at like 800 but I don't know if that's too fast so I'm going to ask them there's certain bits that I think are really boring that I put at 600 already or 800 already so anyway I'm just kind of fiddling around with it and I'm actually enjoying it which is such a an odd experience for me because I usually hate editing um, there's also another video that I'm going to start working on right now but I would say whittling down, what was that, like 15 minutes of footage down into two and a half was a pretty good job. And I edited out boring bits where I was off screen and I'm proud of it. And then I'll start working on another video. The reason I'm editing them all on Christopher's computer is just because he has a better editing software. Much, much better than mine. So I'm going to use this from now on probably. I ended up picking up a bag of popcorn, well a box of popcorn. And I made some, and it's delicious, and I haven't had popcorn. Oh, it's been probably well over a year. I honestly don't remember. Oh, no, I, I did make some here once, I think. But homemade, it wasn't in a bag. It's been a while, so I've been enjoying this. I may or may not have eaten, like, almost all of it. There's just a tiny bit left. Anyway, sorry for all the cuts in this video. It's literally just me stopping to cough because I still have that going on. Which is lovely. Anyway, I was working on the other video of mine, and what I did is I went on my Goodreads and I pulled up all the books that I read this year and got all the covers for all the books. So I can make a video with a compilation of all of them with their star ratings. So I numbered them one through right now. I'm at 142. Don't recommend this book or this one. Didn't like either of them. Anyway, the only issue being that I don't know how to do what I want to do. Like, I know what I want to do with them. I have an idea, but I don't know how to do it. So I need Christopher to come and show me how to work his thing. I know how to do it in my editing program on my computer, but my editing program sucks. And I'd rather use this because I'm sure that once I figure out how to do it, it will be very intuitive and fast and wonderful so anyway that's what's going on with that and it was really easy to like pull them all up goodreads had good quality covers of almost all of them there was only like one that i had to go to like a different site to get a good cover of it so yeah that's what i did for a bit and it's pretty late now and i'm getting kind of tired so i think i'm gonna go to sleep now chris went to sleep a few hours ago so that happened and for once, I've actually enjoyed putting together a video, and I think I'll really enjoy putting together this video as well once I get Christopher to show me how to do that. Anyway, I'm going to keep listening to my audiobooks and go to sleep soon, so I'll see you tomorrow.